How's it going fellas? My name is Orosh and this is another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 and in today's episode we're in the forest. We're playing as Trevor. Last episode we actually went hunting and it was as boring as it sounds. I hate hunting in games, you know, like whenever it's actually necessary. For example, Far Cry games always have hunting as like a necessary thing you have to do. I just fucking dislike it a lot. What's Michael's up to? No, oh, what? what? Or something? Cause to me you look like some kind of puckered up asshole. <laughs> the fuck you did, Michael? And yelled at for for what? For smoking in a public place? I see you dressed up pretty cool. I'm proud of you. You don't look like a complete fucking idiot. So in today, oh, there's another rampage mission. Oh shit! Last episode we killed the military, like a lot of fucking military. So we got Devon mission. Solomon Richards mission and an Epsilon mission. So let's go to this Epsilon one since it's already pretty close. Let's see what they want. Still don't have my old car back, we just have the super ass replacement one. So that kind of sucks. So. I don't know. So I guess. Maybe if this episode mission is long enough, we're gonna do this one and Solomon mission. But if it's short, then I guess I'm also gonna do the Devon Weston mission. Let's hope this episode mission actually requires me to do something. Oh shit. Damn it, don't play country music. God damn, it's your fucking fault. He's another character we're about to meet from GTA 4. It's pretty cool. Hello? It's <laughs> crashed through the door and I was like, hello? It's crashed into your door and it's here to say sorry. You have come They're this so far, creepy, they always appear the from behind from nowhere. Begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself, I took drugs, I was in conflict. Yes, then that's true, because she's actually a character truth. from GT4. So Nico could I help her out. She now, was a crack addict. And then, I guess she realized you she's just ready, gonna follow some path of God. Not ready. Oh, but then I guess then it means that she actually ready. joined I don't know about that. The truth a cult. Is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email. I mean, it's better than we will fucking you being a prostitute and a crack addict. That will help you to unlock I guess. the of the existence. That will cost as little as five thousand dollars. Oh, as little. Five thousand. What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. Kiplum, sister mother. Well, the price I would put Sister on mother. is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. Only. J and that's it? too long, we know you're not ready. Just $5,000? But I already fucking paid you this once and Jim I Tom. shouldn't have because I fucking okay. fucked it up. Okay, I guess I'm a cultist now. Who replaced my car? Marnie! I don't know about her. I mean, she's a GTA 4 character, so that's pretty cool. It's cool to see any of them. Let's see my stonks, because I'm fucking obsessed with them. Still on the, on the bad side, fuck. Oh my god, I fucking hate those fucking stonks. I don't know what the fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, check this out. Keep the party going if you can't remember it. I don't know why I thought this is a Saints Row reference. Because Saints Row 3 began with like a energy drink advertisement. And the Saints were like the purple gang. That's kind of what these guys look like. Fuck, maybe there is a Saints Row reference. Stretch me out like a rubber band. Let's go to Solomon and do a mission for him. And this car fucking sucks. It's not even fast. It's not like it looks 
bad. It's fucking generic as fuck. I don't know, Michael's default car was slightly better, it wasn't even all that good too. Franklin's car is pretty cool, Trevor's kind of cool because it's like unique. Franklin's also unique, but not as unique as some of the cars, it's like a just modified version of a car you can find on the street, I don't know how the fuck it's called in the game. Or in real life. What do you think if I went and just like pimped out this car? Made it all fucked up and cool. And I don't think it would matter because at some point you get back to your normal car and then... And then this one disappears. So why would you damage this car? I mean damage, upgrade it. I feel like when I... Like I... Got this car, I guess I'm gonna pay for every damage as I did to it. This car just looks really unimpressed. Sorry, jeez whiz. We're totally not impressed by me crashing it around, but as soon as I almost touched you, then it's a problem. Solomon Richards, a movie producer. And I feel like he's the only character who, if GTA 6 was a prequel, would be pretty cool to see again. Like, maybe his father. Because if I said he had a movie studio, uh, there was this whole... Steven Spielberg references with the Hello. shark come movie. In, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. And the, you know, they were making porn lunch. movies there. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Shoulder of Orion. Devin Weston said and that's a fucking a Blade Runner reference, me, I think. Devin Weston. Did he? Maybe the so other one was a reference too, but I don't know. No, not at all. He said you were retiring, but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, Just like how the know. Universal Stu you know, Universal Team Park work, used to be a Universal Studio and one of the well, oldest movie list. studios in the world Never and they just destroyed it and turned it into a theme park. It's and admittedly the theme park's pretty cool but right. like, I believe so Universal had the resource to buy a new fucking land Set and make a theme park Liberty there. City. Ooh, no, Liberty down. City. GTA 4. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. Hmm, Rocco, another GTA 4 character. So what is this episode full of GTA 4 characters? That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. Alright. So I gotta kill, go like kill Rocco. Right? But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> he has a fucking cougar head with a fez on it. And definitely not taking my card, there's a better one here. Ooh, that's a nice color, I like it. I like how it changes the shade. Depends on the sun. Space a cool station too, but we're listening to the lowdown. Lowdown has similar music to space, except space has like way more synthesizers in the songs for some reason. Either way, it doesn't matter because they're kind of both, like, space is more like a disco station, while Lowdown is more of a funk soul station. I don't fucking know the difference between funk, soul, and disco. What's the fucking difference? Like, they all sound the same. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, What details? Obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well. 
if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's Where are we going, by the way? Up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. I think about it. Who the fuck was Rocco in GTA 4? All I know is that he was in GTA 4, but who was he? I think he was in Ballad of Gay Tony. He was like an important character there. There was like a scene where Lewis shoots someone and Rocco's there too. And he just tells Lewis that he's fucking... That he's fucked now because he killed some guy. And so I remember about this fucking guy. Oh, well, well, there's a chopper. What are they doing? It's like a drug deal going on? Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be yeah, that's Rocco. Paradise. Like he looks the same as he did before. Implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these. What about the actor I killed last episode? Okay, let's go. I hit. I fucking stuck him in a trunk of the car and then and then just fucking killed him. And a train run him over. Michael. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> How did I push it over? This was fucking huge. Eh, whatever. Oh, look, a pigeon. I'm gonna punch it. Nah, I thought I almost had it. So I'm just being a stealthy bastard. Oh my god. What a stealth kill. Punched him in the. Kicked him in the back of his neck. Fuck yeah. Come on, you can do it. You can punch a bird to death. Michael, Michael, I'm cheering for you. Do what you fuck. Sneaky. I think I'm supposed to sneak around, I'm not supposed to like kill everyone. Okay, there's a ladder over there. What you doing here? You got Go! You shouldn't be here. Shish. I got it, I got it. No, I don't get it. I didn't notice them. If fucking Michael jumps around like a goddamn idiot, I was going to be stealthy. But this isn't a fucking stealth game. Stealth. Stealthy. Life ain't like movies, bastards. Why can't they do these stealthy takedowns anymore? Just kicking them in the face. <laughs> See your fucking death noise. Also, every time I kick someone, Michael just goes out of his stealth mode. What if I go this way? There's a ladder this way. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Like an alternative way? He didn't got him. I think. I can't get in. How did he just ran out of ran out of his fucking little door and immediately knew I'm outside? What a fucking cheater. And I know I'm fucking stupid by just keep doing these leap jumps and almost killing myself, but I don't know, they're fucking funny. Michael Michael almost dying is pretty funny. What? Okay, you guys go busting your balls and I'm just gonna sneak by. Nah, we don't got 
not bad. Oh, Molly? Molly? No, no, it's McElroy. Milky McElroy? I find me. Seriously. Okay, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Last chance. Have you got any free base? I'm asking purely out of curiosity. You told me to stop you, you asked. Now I'm telling you not to stop me. I'm telling you to encourage me. Uh, okay. Okay, I made it to the top. Hey, trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Hello, Rocco. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out... These guys are in love with their contract, so they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! Good uh, wife choice, Rocco. Who is this Have enough? Ain't gonna touch me, cause I'm a ninja. Pontius he told was just so weak. I mean he just fell over like eh. Eh. I'm dead. And I don't toss you off this room. Alright, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. Alright. So Rocco doesn't die. If he maybe doesn't die on purpose? I don't know. I totally didn't know he doesn't die. I thought that we got an option to kill him. Hold on! Find the bridges. You meant to go home with him. We're gonna crash into something, oh god. I'll do anything but one last rock. Oh, you know what I just realized? We haven't done a flight school. I think I'll be done today. We got an Epsilon mission and this one. And I meant to do Davey's mission, but how about we just go and do a flight school? And I even increased my flying abilities, that's great. Get to the studio. Does the studio have a helipad? Should. Since it seems like all the actors are traveling by helicopters. Seems like Michael, you really, really like Solomon. Where am I putting this thing down? When Dylan Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. Alright, then we'll do the same. Put it there. The water tank turned parking lot. Setting it down. That's fucking stupid. Here we go. Nice landing. Didn't even broke the windows. I'm to punch him. Solomon's off. <laughs> Screw you! Solomon's office. Come on. Look. It's like I'm trying bigger. to jump into him. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, <laughs> and call Solomon from wherever I wait. Yeah, sure, you fuck you. I don't How care. About you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test. <laughs> Just what shut a up. Wonderful surprise. And come They're back boy. and all. You're an artist, I know that. And this Loyal story is the best kind of art. To Solomon now. A cliche ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just. I guess he was supposed to be a young actor, but he looks like he's forty, and he just sir. said a lot and of I, shit done to him to look young. I appreciate all the opportunities that that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to... Oh, well, so Michael could have come back. Maybe, like, Solomon would work in Vice City and his assistants... Like, he would go to Solomon and he would be like, Oh, go speak with my assistant. And then Michael shows up. I'd love that. 
We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Michael gets a legal job. I mean legal. A normal job. Can I just, like, you know, actually be like, oh, my job is a movie studio assistant. I assist Mr. Solomon. So we want to go to the flight school. For no other reason than I don't really feel like doing the main mission. So let's go. Also, the flight school is pretty cool in this game. Oh, you almost had it. Why do you jump like that and you just covered everything in blood? You should be dead by now. The amount of blood you fucking spilled in this game. Oh yeah, I gotta give him 5,000. Fuck. Have your shitty stinking bloody money, you bunch of money grabbing assholes. Downtown Capco, give me a fucking cab. Stupid cold car. Hi. Can I get a cab? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Okay, thanks for your help. Thanks for your cooperation. It's a six saber. Fuck. So many cool cars are passing by, and I'm just. Oh, look, my psychiatrist. I haven't heard from you. I trust you're keeping fine mental health, but I worry. Phone session? Sure. Whatever you say, motherfucker. Let's go to. The airport, I have a feeling they're gonna put me in the wrong part of the airport. That's a strange feeling, but I think that's the case. I know one place in the game. Uh, there's like one place in the game that whenever you use a cab to get there, the cab just brings you to the wrong part and you have to like run around quite a lot yourself. Man, I should really stop doing that. That's stupid. Future pilot here. Get the fuck out of my way, security. Up the stairs. <laughs> Into the beacon. Flight school. I'm already really good at flying, just with, without planes. Hell yeah, we got a bunch of missions to do. Fuck it. Train takeoff. Gonna train the fuck out of this takeoff. My name is Jackson, with a J. The fuck was it supposed to be? Jackson with a Y? It would be like a Jackson? Okay, I can take off the plane. I fucking know how to do it. Go! I hate that when you're in the plane, you kind of have to reposition your fingers. Yeah. And we're flying. You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next level. And the battle roll. Just because I'm cool like that. Fuck, I'm gonna miss it. I did it. Well done. <laughs> you already did a battle roll. Great job. Find a missed opportunity for this uh, instructor to say something funny. He does not say anything funny. He just. Actually, sounds like an actual pilot instructor. Okay, I will. I know how to land a plane. You don't need to tell me that. Okay, I'm about to land. I did it! I did it. Oh, I forgot to deploy landing gear. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, again. Let's do it again. This time I remember the landing gear. Here we go. And now. Oh, what the fuck? I did it! Vehicle was destroyed. And should have told me before. I thought it was pretty good. The plane's altitude gradually, so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing. A friend actually goes to a flying school. I mean, flying school. He goes more to a. Like goes in the summer, to like a flight school. 
So he's gonna get a pilot license. And I think that's pretty cool. So he's like really interested in this sort of stuff. So I'm not that much. Complete stop! I should have told you before! Very well, done. well I did stop it. It's not on the on the circle. Okay, okay, we did it. And I got a golden medal so far. Learn how to fly upside down, motherfucker. It's the and same as lessons. before. Oh, a stunt pilot. Oh, I feel sick well, already. It's a very, very nice weather. Shame the weather in real life is fucked up all, all of a right, sudden. Pilot, oh, yeah, I just skipped the countdown. Crazy. Should do some jokes, you know, like it's kind of a really not like rock unlike Rockster for not not to make him some kind of okay. creep. Let's see what you got. On my what I gotta do a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel. <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, okay one. Three barrel rolls in a row. Two. Three. Very nice. Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level up. No, again. actually, when I do now the barrels, I just do don't do focus on anything. Down. I just kind of. Roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Am I upside down yet? Oh, there I am. Ooh, upside down. Oh shit. Why is the city on the ceiling? That's strange. Oh my god. Roll the plane right side up. There we go. Great work out there today. Flying 80. We increased our flight last mission with the helicopter. To 60. So did Michael already begin with 40 flight skill? Because I don't think he ever flew a plane. I ever made him float a plane before in the game. This Franklin definitely has shitty flight skills. I never increased any of them. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. What do I have to do? Got a sprunk. Then I'll talk you through it. Stickers on me. I'm a fucking flying advertisement. Keep your wings steady. Use your rudders to maintain altitude. This is the first checkpoint. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold Shit. that position. Okay. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Got it. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, quick, I got 50 seconds for it. Side and hold the position. Show the meter. Perform a knife edge on the other side. Level out the plane. <laughs> that was an amazing run. You should be very proud of yourself. See, this guy's so supportive. Like, he should say something like, but I could do better. And like, for example, he, his thing would be that he's like, very jealous of my skills. Or something. I don't know, anything. Just... Sounds like an actually encouraging instructor. Maybe that's why this is so easy and the advertisement on the radio said that you can become a pilot in less than three hours. Which I guess is true. Because definitely I won't be here for three hours. Look, the intro is doing way fucking shittier. It's not even flying through the circles. What the fuck? I want you to use everything you've learned so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude. Two fifteen. Ah, oh, shit. Really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane. Playing different circles have different icons on them, so I get to know what I have to do. A time penalty. See. Can't get any time penalties. Let's 
the altitude and collated on the radar tracks hide something something. Are they gonna tell me like to do some stunts now? Okay, I don't know what they're telling. They're telling me something about lines on the map, how they represent some altitude meter, but I don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. Also, I don't know. I, I was supposed to do stunts. But I'm, I'm flying really low to the water, so I'm kind of scared to do it. This plane I'm flying reminds me of the movie, Planes. It's a fucking car spin-off. Made me think that they're gonna do boats at some point too. But my plane was fucking garbage. Even though when I watched it with the friend that I said was really into planes, he... ...said that this is surprisingly accurate. Like all the f altitude levels were said whenever the plane was about to land and shit. We only watched it because one time we were just hanging out and we saw it on the TV and we were like, Oh shit, let's watch it. I knew this movie sucks. They didn't know it, they actually went for some kind of... For some kind of fucking realism in it, fuck. Maybe cars is also custom. Oh come on, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, shit, okay. I think it was might be like, calculated. For me to do it. Come on. No. Uh, two job. seconds to spare. <laughs> Cause you suck. See, I'm a natural at it. It's definitely way better than the fucking GTA San Andreas. San Andreas is like a game that maybe at some point in the future I would make another let's play out of just because, like, maybe this next time I would do it, like. On a PC and just get shit on a mod. Oh, this one sucks. Even the fucking intro just struggles with it. So, the problem with this one is I don't really know what. what see, you spawn so far away from this. And you're supposed to do an emergency landing. I think you're supposed to stop. Don't tell me they close traffic just to me to learn this. And now we're supposed to let go of the acceleration button. And start... Okay, I was way too fast. Oh, no, no, no. No! Fuck. Okay, what if I just stop accelerating from the beginning? I just don't... I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna stop. Okay, okay. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. I keep slowing. Smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Oh, shit. I'm not slowing down enough. Damn it. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. Maybe you'll get it on the next try. Why is he so nice and encouraging? I mean, yeah, I did. Sorry, Jesus. Okay, so I'm kind of... Maybe when I do acceleration, I'm just accelerating. Okay. What if I'm just slowing down a little bit as I approach the circle? Because I'm approaching this way too fucking fast. Okay, now I'm a little too fucking slow. Aye, 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 that wasn't smoothly at all. Come on, please. I'm holding it. Come on. I almost had it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I got a bronze medal. I got 100 flight, though. I got a silver one. Eh, who cares? I'm not gonna go for goldens. Still pretty good. Look, we did gold, gold and everything so far. Loop de loop. Steppers are gonna get really long because I'm doing a shitty ass flight school and the previous mission we did was already pretty long. Okay, 
back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. Okay then. If flight schools look like this, Take off and head for the still probably I wouldn't the go to one. pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. <laughs> yeah, I bet I will do it first try. Yeah, first checkpoint, we're doing it night time, so have to have a really nice view, check this out, all the Always lights and sure shit. Your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. I'm performing an inside loop. Get ready with to the stars the and the, the, end of the loop. lights all around. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just again? Like steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. I'm performing an inside loop. To level out the plane when you're near loop the end loop. Of the loop. I'm not crashing. So. Okay, now I didn't. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll Damn it. the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully the goal inverted, scores. then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Come on, I got 20 seconds. Perform a roll off the top. I think I did it. I didn't do it. Oh, you fucking asshole. Now, roll the plane right side up. Quick! Finish the mission! No! Oh my god. Hard to believe you were only a beginner not that long ago! Yeah, like two couple minutes ago. I'll keep crashing when I try to do a land. Okay, here we go. Helicopter course. Uh, helicopters are a little shittier because they're less less accurate, I think. Well, at least with a helicopter, you can like fly backwards and stuff. So that's pretty so cool well too. In the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He should have said lines like this throughout this whole thing. This one I believe is bullshit. I can never get it with gold. Yeah, that seems like the ideal. What the fuck I'm supposed to do, right? Like he said, helicopters are a little more easier to fly. Oh, there you go, the Meriwether boat. Wonder who the fuck destroyed it. Hmm. Done. The didn't seem to slow you down at all. Maybe Michael, the story is that Michael decided to go to a flight school to have some kind of skill other than just killing people. So he can, for example, just become a flight instructor himself or something? Maybe not exactly a flight instructor. But maybe someone like, I don't know, like Solomon's personal pilot and a bodyguard too. Good job. And an assistant, I guess he's not very, very much of a bodyguard, more of an assistant. I got almost three minutes to do this thing. And I remember getting into the city is pretty fucking difficult. I'm approaching this too fast. Yeah, I got this. Thank you. Thank you for encouraging me. You are so nice. I swear to God, it's almost like it's I'm, it's I'm a GTA character. Cause tell me, what's the nicest GTA character? There's no nice characters. They're all evil in some way. But it's not even like evil characters in GTA are evil for no reason. They're more evil because they just kind of want my money, you know, they're kind of greedy. That's like the. So you can kind of tell who's the bad character, the one that's greedy. But then also, like, main characters in this game are keep complaining about not getting paid for what they're doing. Good job. Here we go. Doing pretty good, I would say. I would say if I wasn't fucking swigging around uncontrollably. 
The worst part is actually landing the fucking thing. I think. Ah, fuck. Come on. Get it. I think I got it. And I gotta do a land. Shit. There's the landing pad. Go ahead and set her down nice and easy. Ah, I didn't get a golden one. They were swinging around these too much. They were way too close to each other, in my opinion. Come on, I can at least go for a silver one. Nice job! You handled the course pretty well. He does sound like he keep yelling at me, though. Damn it! Four more to go. Come on, we can do it. We can finish the flight school. Do it. I remember one time I actually went for like 80% of the game done, where I was like doing all the collectibles and shit. I'm not gonna do it in this playthrough because I really don't give a fuck. Even though there's like two missions you get from doing collectibles, I don't care. Helicopter speedrun, wasn't that what I fucking just did? What is the time limit bar? When does it go down? Good work so far. Keep her at full speed. Why is it a bar? What the fuck? So the time limit is represented with a bar for some stupid reason. You got this. But then for the golden is two minutes. So I suppose if I Go for the gold, I go for two, 210, under 210. Keep it up. And then the l limit, like couldn't they just display limit with a timer too? Shit, 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 shit. Come on, go up. That's it. You are blazing now. I wonder how speedruns of this game look. I never really cared about speedruns. My friend does speedruns of Diablo too. I mean, at least he did. Not like he was a speedrunner or wanted to be a speedrunner, he just kind of did it because, I don't know, he sounded cool. No, I think I missed it. Fuck, time limit goes really down. I don't know that I decreased it by missing a circle. I don't even know, does that count as missing the circles if I don't fly directly through them? Maybe that's why I lost the last one. Maybe because I missed some of the circles at the end. I don't think it's the case. Even the Good intro job. for the plane trip that I did before told me to fly around like the intro wasn't flying directly to the circles. The intro did worse than I did. So I find it funny that they can afford just for me to fly around like that. If I crash the helicopter, they get to have another one for me to crash it again. I feel like there should be someone in that helicopter with me controlling the whole situation so they could take over as soon as I was about to crash into something or like with this like when I had my practicing for my car license exam that was uh, always like the our lady sitting next to me and she had a break on her side too so whenever I was about to do something, like for example, go over the red light or something, then she would break. I kind of fucking hated that because sometimes I had everything under control and I knew what the fuck I was doing, but then she would break anyway and tell me like, watch out here. I was like, yeah, I fucking did. God damn it. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Okay, skydiving. I don't know why this is part of a flight school, more of a parachute school. Now you're gonna learn how to jump out of one. Aim for the landing target and hold your chute when you get close to the ground. The parachute is difficult to control, so slow your approach and give yourself extra time to correct. Okay, I guess. Michael, your bolt head will be really aerodynamic. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Aim for the target Only a little. and deploy your parachute mm. when you start getting close to the ground. 
I will deploy the parachute. I don't know. The instruction disappeared. I didn't look at it. Fuck. Uh, now X. Almost had it. <laughs> failed the lesson. Michael didn't die or anything. He just failed the lesson. Shit. Let's get a new student Hope quick. And I'm going down again. I would like to go skydiving one time. Like with a squirrel suit so I could like fly around. That would be fucking sick. I still remember how in Just Cause 3 I said that if I ever get a million subscribers I'm gonna go and do stuff. Do that. That's gonna be like a fucking... At least a good reason for me to actually do it. It's more or less the parachutes like the one in... It's more or less like the one in San Andreas. Not sure about GTA 4 because only Ballad of Gitoni had that and I haven't played that thing in a long long while. So I don't even remember it. It's my in my opinion they should just re-release like remaster the fucking GTA 4 at least. Like, with some better looking graphics, maybe even a better looking color palette other than fucking brown and garbage. Nice shit. Dead on. Almost dead on, what do you mean? I got right in. I just did a little roll. Yeah, I got a fucking s gold. At least I didn't get a single bronze. That's nice. This lesson will involve skydiving onto a moving target. So the moving target. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. Okay. I don't know why would I need to learn this. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck. So take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. Oh yeah, good idea. Shit, uh, I can see the target. It's right there. Come on, crash into it. Fuck, I'm going faster than the target. Okay, I gotta make like a circle. Just to kind of... Let the truck get a little further away from me. Okay, that's about good. Well, don't shoot it. How do I slow down? I did it. Oh, nice. Fuck. Shit, I'm impressed with myself how well I'm doing. Come on, quickly, before this gets one hour long. Shit, I should have done a main mission. Main missions are shorter than this. I didn't know it was gonna be that Your long. Yeah, I should have done that at the beginning of the flight thing. When I was still like flying the planes. Now I forget how to fly I want planes. You to take your So that's the one with the special, special case where I have to do stunts. Alright. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be easy anyway. Yeah, do dif two different shades of blue. All looking exactly the fucking same. Look at this. My flight checkpoint is like a greenish blue. And then the other blue is a fucking barrel one. That's green. I don't know, I'm stupid. Is that green? It looks fucking ugly blue in my opinion Very nice. it's a stunt plane what do you guys expect for me to crash into the water of course I'm gonna fucking crash into the water I'm a fucking pro stunt pilot so you're gonna have to fly through it upside down okay oh wait got it awesome possum, possum. I did it because I'm fucking awesome. My instructor told me, so I believe him. Nicely done. There we go, I'm doing fucking good. Except the timer's pretty... Pretty garbage. I wonder does this end? Do I have to like... Do I have to, you know... You're looking good. I land the plane too? Or does it just end like midair? 
hope it ends mid-air because if it just ends with me having to land the thing and if I have to land it accurately it might be more of a problem because the bridge one the bridge landing stupid I don't know I don't like it I don't know when to like stop fucking I don't I oh Jesus I just don't know when to stop my fucking plane stop accelerating Shit, flight school's really good. Five stars, I recommend. I learned how to fly a plane in less than three hours. I'll give you that one. Oh, fuck you, that was a good one. All of them were good. I'm doing better than ever, you ever did. I'm doing better than you did at fucking telling me what to do. You're looking great out there. Got a bonus. But I did all of them correctly. What are you talking about? Look, I'm gonna get a golden one. And... Gold. Thank you, instructor. I'll never forget you. Jackson. Thanks, Jackson. And with a J. Remember that. Because he's a fucking jackass. That's why he's with a J. Yeah, I want to quit. I did it. I'm a fucking... Flight instructor. I remember when they added flight school to online, and you got paid for doing that for some reason, and it got you got paid pretty well. I remember getting rich from that. So see you guys later in the next episode. Bye.